Okay, continuing our tutorials with HTML5 Canvas. Uh, I'm really enjoying this. I always uh, want to mention at the beginning of my videos, uh, first off, this is a series. There should be an annotation on the screen to the playlist. before you, Be sure you start at the beginning of the playlist, or you might be a little lost because I'm going to assume that you've watched them. Um, the other thing uh, I want to mention is that I am learning uh, HTML Canvas as I'm making these videos, so I'm learning something and then I'm teaching a video on it. Hopefully I'm teaching everything properly. I believe I am. I believe I've done a pretty decent job so far. I think I'm grasping the concept. And what's helped me grasp the concept is a website, and uh, I want to mention they did not pay me. I have no association with this website. It's just I found this to be a very good website, plus my tutorials that I'm doing are very similar to theirs since I learned from their videos uh, are from their not their videos but from their tutorials uh, it's html5 canvas tutorials.com uh, and you can edit the code right on the page making it very easy simple to learn I've tried other pages and I feel that I did not learn uh, as well I was a little more confused but they make it very simple to understand so anyway today we're gonna be looking at paths and paths are pretty much what we've drawn so far um, lines arcs and curves, both quadratic and uh, Bezier. Um, but you can connect different paths into one path to make more complex shapes. And so let's go ahead and jump right in. We'll have a look at this. So I'm going to say context dot, if I could type today, <laughs> begin path. And then we're going to, so begin the path, which is what we've always done because all those elements have been paths. We're going to move to a certain position. And uh, that position, I'll say 100 by 50. Just making up a point on there. So we're going over 100 and down 50 um, pixels on the canvas. Now we're going to say context.line to, and we're going to draw a line from that position to another position. I'll say 200, and I'll say 100. Now we also need to, well, let's give the line a width. So context line width. This will be the thickness of the line. We'll say 15. Um, next, we'll draw it. We'll say context dot stroke. And if you come up here into my browser, Chrome, I'm going to refresh, and you can see the line we just drew. Now, I can take that line and copy and paste it just to save some time. And I'm going to say um, we're going to go down 300, but I'm going to leave the uh, that other one as a 100. I'm going to refresh it. So we went down, and we didn't go down anymore. We went over uh, another 100 pixels. Uh, so we can do that again. And as long as these line twos that we're drawing are before the stroke, they're all going to be considered one path because uh, they're within the begin path there. If you did after, you wouldn't see it because it wouldn't get stroked. That did not sound good. Um, we're going to say 150, and we'll set this to 120. Save that. And uh, you can see we went back that way. Let's actually go... 350 go that way now as I said arcs and curves are also considered paths so we can put those in here as well so what we did was we moved to this position and then we drew a line from this position and then from this position we drew a line to this position and then from this position we drew a line to this position so now we're going to draw an arc or uh, I'm sorry a curve and we'll start the curve at this position, since that's the last position that our, uh, I'll say, our paintbrush was at. And what we can say is context dot, uh, we'll go with a Bezier curve. No, let's do a quadratic. Uh, quad, quad, no R there, quadratic. If I type everything right, this should work. Curve two. And we got to give it um, four numbers for two different positions because we already have the beginning of the curve listed here. So we need 
the center control point and the end point. So I am going to say um, I'm thinking, I'm trying to think. I guess I'll just put whatever first. Yeah, um, I'll say 150, comma, 10, comma, uh, and then we'll say uh, 100, comma, 350. Save that. Okay. Boom. There we go. We drew an arc. Like that. So we went here to here to here to there and then arced back to there. Um, we can also go, let's put that at 100, see what that does. I think that's going to give us more of a straighter line. Yeah, so it's not as arced. I wonder, I haven't tried this. So this may not work. Because normally when I try stuff in videos I haven't tried yet, it don't work. Can I put a negative number in there and have the arc? No, it just still goes up that way. Interesting. Um, I'm sure someone will comment on that. Um, so once again we drew a line from here to here to here to here and then arced this way and uh, of course we can give these this path a different color so we can say stroke style equals we'll say red and I did the same thing I did in another tutorial and forgot the R in stroke it's nice when you make the same mistakes over and over again because they're easy to figure out now I'm gonna try something else I actually haven't tried I just thought of um, so we have our begin path here and of course we can begin a different path after we stroke yeah, after <laughs> we draw the line with stroke um, yeah, saying stroke, this just was going to sound wrong. Um, I think, and I have not tried this, I want to try something here. I want to draw another line. Let's, let's move this line, put it down here after the stroke. And I'm going to say here, uh, context.stroke style. Once again, I am learning myself, so I could be way off on this, but I just had a thought that if I continued the path and stroke it, stroke it again, I wish they didn't use that word, even though it makes sense. Um, if I call the stroke method again uh, without creating a new path, if, nope, nope, it rewrote over the whole thing. I thought maybe you could make a different portion of the same path a different color. And there might be a way. I thought that would work. It didn't. Um, so anyway, as you can see, all the different uh, the paths that we've been creating can all be connected in different ways. Uh, so I'm just going to leave that like this. Oh, I removed the, the width. And that does... Why would that be... Let's move this. Oops. Let's move this back up here, and once again, context dot line width equals 15. Save that. Boom. Okay, a little sloppy of a shape, but you get the idea, I hope. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, once again, I'll be posting all these scripts on my Pastebin account over at Pastebin.com. My username is, is MetalX1000, but I should have a link on my website. My website is FilmsByChris.com. That's Chris with the K. There should be a link to that in the description. I hope you're enjoying the tutorials. Once again, I hope you're looking forward to where we're going with this. And uh, if you are, please uh, give a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know. Uh, that you're liking them because I'm, I'm already working on more. So I hope you do because there's more coming either way. Uh, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.